Hey guys, it seems that some more information has come out about the resignation of Wayne LaPierre and what he will be taking with him in terms of payments upon his resignation that is effective January 31st of 2024. My buddy Jeff and I have been uh, trying to figure something out and it seems like we might potentially have that answer. Uh, there are a couple other things in this that I want you to know because uh, stuff's being reported out there. At first, it was reported in many places, included, including the Associated Press, that Wayne LaPierre was due to receive $17 million upon leaving the CEO position. However, thanks to John Richardson, more information has come out regarding that potential payment. Now, first, it should be noted that the Assistant Attorney General of New York, Monica Connell, asserts that Wayne LaPierre's resignation will have no impact on the viability of the complaint against the NRA and Wayne LaPierre himself. Also, she says that the NRA will have to give answers regarding the peculiarness of Wayne LaPierre's resignation only days before the trial begins. On the flip side, Noah Peters of Brewer Attorneys and Counselors asserts that as the NRA stated in its trial brief, Mr. LaPierre's resignation undermines the New York Attorney General's request for forward-looking injunctive relief. And he implies that the New York Attorney General must now show that the issues of the LaPierre era will continue with him gone, which is unlikely according to them. As for the financial issues at play, Richardson states that Wayne LaPierre has no arrangements or agreements with the NRA or its affiliates regarding his resignation, severance, licensing, or consulting. He will not hold any other position within the NRA, nor will he undertake any other employment, independent contracting, consulting, or any other work for the NRA or any other affiliate, contractor, or vendor. I'll have a link to his article down below. It's a very good read. Now here's the juicy part. After the January 31st, 2024 resignation date, any and all payments under his 2021 employment contract will cease. There are no superseding employment or post-employment agreements with Wayne LaPierre. We'll come back to that. As for the health reasons that Wayne LaPierre cited upon his resignation, the NRA has been informed that Wayne has chronic Lyme disease. Now, regarding that $17 million golden parachute, like I said, it's been uh, reported in a lot of places, including the Associated Press, but we first learned of that during the deposition in a bankruptcy trial regarding the, his 2018 employment contract. So it appears as though that golden parachute was removed by the Board of Trustees. But as far as I know, we have no concrete evidence that it either still exists or was removed during the renegotiation or the negotiations for his new contract, effective 2021. So I wanted to bring you that information because there's a couple things that uh, may change things for the NRA in the trial. Specifically, are they going to give $17 million to Wayne LaPierre because he doesn't work for them anymore? So if it was removed, good on the board of trustees. That could be one move of hopefully many in trying to get the NRA back on track. And if you're hemorrhaging money and a, a good chunk of your, your monies that you take in goes towards defending yourself, another $17 million you know, being handed out isn't wise. So I hope that this is the true, uh, I hope it is the truth, and I hope it is true that the board is starting to make some changes, and hopefully there will be changes made on the board itself uh, so that it is, uh, maybe has power again more than it does now, back to the way it was before Wayne LaPierre made some changes. Let me know what y'all think down below, and, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, Jeff, for giving me the update. Thank you to Mr. Richardson for doing the work he did to figure out some stuff. Again, link to that article is down below. It's a good read. And uh, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Guys and gals, have a phenomenal day. I appreciate y'all. Take care.